Alex Sanders, and you're watching Beyond the Whistle. What's kind of been the morale like in the locker room going into this first region game against Marion? I mean, really just going to play our game. Mm -hmm. Play how we play. Play at a high level and execute. So what are you expecting from them, you know, defensively from what you've seen this week? I mean, they pretty they pretty long on defense. They have several interceptions. They can fit down here. They're pretty good. I feel like it's gonna be a challenge. Total season last year, you averaged around 82 yards per game, and now you're at about 95 yards mm -hmm. per game. Is there a specific goal you have set for your junior season or your high school career? That can be like with yardage, that can be with anything. I mean, my junior season, yeah, this season I got, uh, I put a thousand plus yards down, I'll say 60 plus catches, mm -hmm. and averaging over, I mean, we're having over 15 touchdowns. You guys were 4 0 this time last year. And then now you're two and two. Um, talk to me about the differences you've seen between this team and last year's team. Well, last year's team, we were learning how to win and uh, got into a couple close games early in the season and the ball bounced our way. Uh, several of those games we could have easily lost, but w w we didn't. Uh, this year's group, I uh, think a little bit uh, drinking the Kool-Aid. Uh, mm -hmm. There's been a couple games where we went out and thought we were a little bit better than what we really were and forgot that we had to play hard and had to execute. Mm -hmm. and, and, and when you don't execute and you don't go in there and you go in there with a big head, you don't always get the outcome you want. Yeah. Going into your first region game against Farian, what are the biggest challenges that you guys are going to face on Friday that y'all have really been talking about in practice? Well, it's, it's, it's playing quality football, number one. I, I, Farian's a good football team. Um, I know their scores hadn't indicated and their record doesn't indicate it, but they're young like us. Uh, they play extremely hard. They're physical in the box. We're going to have to match that physicality. Uh, we're going to have to be really good on third downs and not let them chew up clock. And, and when we get opportunity to score, we're going to have to score. Do you guys change kind of the way you practice? Is practice more intense going into region than it was in the regular season? Well, the beauty about it is, is the heat. Uh, mm -hmm. In the non-region games, we were fighting the wet bulb and, and having to, having to do, to do things so we stay under the law. Uh, we get more quality time now uh, mm -hmm. because it's not as hot and, and they're not getting so tired by just standing out here. Uh, but w we treat every day about the same. Uh, mm -hmm. That's our routine. We're going to be very, very physical on Monday and Tuesday and it's a longer practice. Wednesdays are more special teams and team oriented and Thursdays are, are my, getting the mind right to go play Friday. And since we're now halfway through the regular season, as a head coach, are there specific things you begin to look for in, in practice that you didn't pay much attention to or really didn't have the need to pay attention to it in the regular season? It can be at skill level. It can be, you know, just anything in general. Are there any specific things that you begin to look for when it I comes mean, to region play? To, now, to be honest with you, we look for practice to be like games. And, and they need to be able to compete way before Friday nights because mm -hmm. yeah, we're not good enough to go out there and just turn, the, turn it on on Friday night and expect us to play well. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and finding the importance of every rep and them going back and watching film and critiquing themselves mm -hmm. and saying, I didn't do this well yesterday, let's come in out there and let's do this better today. Yeah. Uh, so those things is how we look at practice. And talk to me about the quarterback position. You know, Chip Cooper last year was our Offensive Player of the Year for mm -hmm. South Georgia TV, CBS 44. Um, but now you have a new, a fresh new quarterback, um, Lyndon Worthy, who has replaced Chip. So what do you think of his performance so far this season as just a freshman? Well, sometimes he plays like a, a upperclassman and sometimes he plays like a freshman. <laughs> and, and that's as easy as I can say yeah. it because uh, he's got to get more consistent. Uh, and, and he's very intelligent. He's, he, make, he goes through his process really well. Uh, he, th he throws a nice, accurate football. But sometimes it, it's, it's understanding the moment. And, and, that's, and, and it's tougher on him than it was Chip because Chip always had the ability to get, out, get, get us out of trouble with his legs. When, the, when pocket broke down or we had this going on, he could extend plays or even run for, run for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Lyndon has to spread the ball around. Mm -hmm. he, he's not going to beat you with his legs, and he understands that, is that but he, he's got to make sure he takes care of the football and keeps getting it to the right guys. Yeah. Is that an adjustment going from a senior quarterback to a freshman quarterback? You, it's not the age, it's their skill level. Mm -hmm. uh, things we did with Chip, we don't do with Lyndon. And, and, and there's things that we we're, we're able to do with Lyndon that we didn't do with Chip. And it's, it's, so it's, it's more about 
making sure the playbook is centered around what they're what they're they are, can do well. Thank you so You're much welcome. for being here with me. You're All welcome. Right.